What's up everybody? Bye bye Tim Teardrop. And of course you know I would bump the camera on my way down. Gotta crawl down this side and crawl up that side. So in the last video, I was talking about sanding this down and using a sanded block. And you can see the highs. These lighter spots are gonna be the highs. And the next lighter spot's gonna be you know, it's pretty close to it, and then all of a sudden, exactly this color would be your exact, would be your best flat surface. But since I am going to roll this, because I do want that orange peel texture, in case there's something happens, it's easier, to, easier to touch up. And I don't have to get out a spray rig, or let's say if you buy it, and you don't have to break out a little buy a spray rig if you don't have one. So I got my plywood there. To, Put my paint pan on it. If you don't have 15 minutes of your life to lose because you watch somebody roll paint, then this video may not be for you. This video is for people who are building teardrop campers or something like it, or maybe painting something with oil based paint. Um, so, I have my roller, and the first thing that I will do is I'll take my brush. And you want to, I'll come around that side too, but you want to go around, it's called cutting in, cutting in. Um, now I actually, I just kind of bend the brush over and jig a little, little bit. You can actually do a wipe like that if you want, a brush stroke, whatever you want to call it. But if you jiggle it a little bit like that, I guarantee you it's going to go up under that. Uh, air vent. The plus you don't want, I don't, I don't want straight lines here. I want it to look like it's all rolled. So I've already got this taped off. And I've rolled my roller several times to get it saturated with paint. And you want to keep a wet edge when you're doing this. You don't want to just... Oh. One thing you don't want to do is get halfway through this and oh, I think I'll take a break. And go off somewhere and take a break and come back and start painting again. You know, start again with the painting. What will happen is you'll see that spot where you stopped. Let that, let that uh, do right here. Now. I'm going to come around here like this. Now, if you wanted to spray this and have it look really sharp. And you'll sand this whole thing so it's all evenly dull flat like that. But once you spray it, you cannot touch it up with a roller. That means no touch up on the go. You know, at least this way, let's say that you're out on the camp out and a tree branch falls on your roof and breaks a hole on it in the roof. You could uh Stop off at your local automotive store and get a can of Bondo and Bondo that in, <laughs> sand it out, have it looking proper, and then get you a little disposable roller at one of the big box stores, Home Lowe's or Home Depot, and then uh, you'll know the code of your paint. Let's say it's Sherwin Williams, uh, whatever number that is. 1096 or something, I don't know what the number is, but whatever your paint coat is, we'll get you some of that. And then um, roll it on, and you're good to go again. Or if you paid somebody to fix your, build your camper, and you want to wait, wait until you get back and have them do the repair, then just keep your big old roll of duct tape. That's the UCT duct tape. And it's not for taping up duds. For um, taping ducts like in the air conditioning system. You can duct tape it up real, real solid. plywood there because I thought I was just going to put my paint pan across there and roll it. And I'm going to have to go with, I don't 
don't need the plywood. I was sitting on that the other day to get up in the attic of the garage to get a, one of those turkey fry cook stands. squeaks the most. I can tell if you're working or not. I don't have to keep coming and looking in on you. He started buying a roll, on roller branch to come to work. of your mistakes or imperfections as a high gloss will. So you can see how it's laying out real nice. And I, just use a, I just use a cheap foam roller here. That way no fibers are going to come out. Either that or I can use an expensive um, lamb's wool. Those are about $25, no, they're about $20. That's what we use for many houses. And they last forever. For a homeowner, they probably last you 20 years to clean it properly. Contractors know that those the other ones, cheaper roller covers, they're not going to last you too long. Five thousand dollars worth of paint a month. That's burning to a lot of roller covers. All right, so this is where I'm going to drop you guys off and just finish it up myself, so you can see what kind of a surface we're getting here. It looks pretty good. I'm trying to hold it down real low so you can look across it. It looks pretty good. I'll be pleased with it. Camper, no galley. I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for dropping in.